to. Every once in a while, I'll, uh, I like to enjoy a cigar. And there's a lot of people out, out there, excuse me, I have hiccups. There's a lot of people out there that likes to collect their cigar bands when they're done smoking the cigars. And I'm going to show you a little thing that I have done with my cigar bands. And then I'll uh, show you, I'll tell you some more ideas you can use. Now before I show you what I have done with my cigar bands, I want to talk to you about a guy uh, on YouTube. He's very knowledgeable about cigars and um, he doesn't make videos as, as often as uh, he used to. But he has enough videos already on his page that you can learn a lot about cigars and where they come from, how they age them, and different different little stuff like that. Uh, and I'm going to put his, a link to his uh, page in, um, in the, the thing in the bottom, the little info box, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind me uh, promoting his page. His YouTube name is Doc Stogie Fresh, and he's real knowledgeable, and he has a, he has a video, <laughs> these hiccups are getting annoying, he has a video of a little idea he's done with his cigar bands, and he talks about you know diff some things you can some things you can do with them. Uh, the The name of the video is Cigar Band Project, and uh, I'll put some more information about that also, along with his link in the the doobly doo. Um, so let's uh, let's show you what I've done with my. All right, here we have. Uh, I went to a, a a store and bought some pretty big. They look like maybe five by twelve something size. It's like thick white paper cardstock, and I got some stick glue and and a mechanical pencil and a sharpie marker. And what I did was I glued the <coughs> oh man, I glued the bands on this paper. And the like brands I put together, the rest of them are in no particular order, except for the the like brands are all, all together along as as well as these Drew Estate, the Acids and the Javas and the Naturals and the Kaluas. I got some Maria Guerreros, a couple of Flor Dominicanas, and uh, some CAOs, and some little uh, American Stogies. That was a good cheap one. Uh, but this is what I did. As you can see, I have room room for more, and I got a few more sheets too. I don't smoke that often because I don't like. I have a roommate, so I don't want to smoke in the apartment. And uh, so I usually go to the cigar bar that we ha that we have down here called the Hemingway, and I uh, smoke in there. But that's what I did with my cigar bands. Um, some other things you can do is like. Uh, <clears throat> like the project that Doc uh, Stogie Fresh did in his video, he put them in a in a big uh, jar and just put them put them on an end table or whatever and have them for decoration. Um, you can do something like what I did here and uh, write some information down, like the, the scar names, uh, what you rated, make your own little rating system, uh, put comp comments down of some things you tasted on it, how you liked it, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, uh, if you if it's something you would recommend to a friend or something you would smoke again. You can also get those uh, three by fives or a little bit bigger sized index cards. Glue the band to that and make your little notes and then punch it punch holes in the corner and put one of those big old rings on it and just have a little a little you know Throw it on your end table, and if you have friends over with that smoke, you know they can thumb through it and kind of get your recommendations on it and suggestions and stuff. I hope this helped a little bit. Uh, but like I said, check out that Doc Stogie Doc Fresh, and uh, he's got a lot of info, a lot of interesting th things about cigars. And uh, thanks for your time. And thanks for putting up with my hiccups. And uh, as soon as I get uh, ideas for more videos, I'll see y'all soon.